Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to create foldable greeting cards in Canva. We will design a greeting card from scratch, so let's get started. The first step is to log in to your Canva account. If you don't have an account yet, you can sign up using your email address, Google account, or any other email provider. Once you've logged in, you will see the Canva homepage. On the homepage, click on the option for a custom size. Change the unit of measurement from pixels to inches, as we will be designing a physical greeting card. Set the width to 10 inches and the height to 7 inches. The reason for these dimensions is that we are creating a folded card, where the 10 inch width will be folded in half. Alternatively, you may see a folded card template suggested under custom sizes, and you can select that if it's available. For this tutorial, we'll stick with a 10 by 7 inch custom design. Once you've created the design, Canva will open a blank canvas. On the canvas, you will notice a thin line running vertically down the middle. This line divides the card into two sections. The right side will be the front of your card and the left side will be the back. The first thing I like to do is add a background color to the canvas. Click anywhere on the canvas to select it, then go to the color grid at the top of the screen. I'm going to select a light purple shade for the background, but you can choose any color that suits your design. Adding a background color helps me visualize the layout more easily and makes it simpler to work with different design elements. Next, we'll start adding elements to the card. Click on the Elements tab on the left-hand side. For this example, I'm creating a thank you greeting card, so I will search for flowers in the search bar. Canva will display various flowers graphics and images. I found one that I like and will use it as a background element. Click on the image to add it to the canvas. Once the image is added, resize it by dragging the corners until it covers the entire canvas. Make sure it fits perfectly within the edges. After positioning it, I recommend locking it in place. To do that, right click on the image and select the lock option. Locking prevents the image from moving while you work on other elements. Now, let's create a focal point for the card. I'll search for a paint gradient in the Elements tab. Under Graphics, I've selected a gradient box that I can use to highlight the text. I'll change its color to a blue gradient and resize it into a square shape. Place the square in the center of the canvas. You'll know it's centered when you see a purple horizontal line appear. Once the box is centered, it's time to add text. Click on the text tab on the left and select a font combination. Canva offers various font combinations that look visually appealing, but you can also use simple text if you prefer. I'll choose a font combination and add it to the center of the gradient box. I'm going to type, thank you for coming, but you can customize it with any message you want. Adjust the text size and position it in the center of the box. You can further customize the text by clicking on the three dots at the top of the screen to access more options. Here, you can align the text, change the font size, or add effects. I'll click on the Effects option and apply a slight curve to the text for a more dynamic look. You can adjust the curvature to your liking by dragging the slider. Once the main design is in place, you can add additional decorative elements. Go back to the Elements tab and search for patterns or shapes. I'm going to add splashes or flowers to the corners of the card. After selecting the pattern, rotate it slightly and position it in one corner. Then, copy and paste it using Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V and place it in the opposite corner. You can repeat this process for the other corners or stick to a diagonal layout. After completing your design, it's time to download the card. Click on the Download button at the top right corner of the screen. Since we are creating a physical folded card, select PDF Print as the file format. Make sure to check the option for crop marks and bleed. This setting ensures that the design aligns correctly with the card folds when printed. Click on Download and the file will be saved to your computer. Open the PDF file to preview your greeting card. You'll notice the crop marks indicating where to fold the card. If you want, you can adjust your design to extend elements to the edges for a seamless look. That's how you can create a custom foldable greeting card in Canva. 
you can personalize it further by experimenting with different colors, fonts, and design elements. Thanks for watching.